morning. If you would like to just take yourself back into a child's pose now, uh, you can bring the toes a touch and you can take the knees a little wider apart if you prefer or have the torso propped up on the knees. Ground the forehead back down into the floor. And start to reach the palms out in front of you and start to engage the forearms so the arms come up off of the earth. Take a big breath in and start to exhale, connect to your breath. Inhale, anchor the buttocks back down to the heels and then move the sternum forward along the thigh line. And let's walk the hands out to the left hand side. Take a breath in. If you want to pitch the left hand back slightly, you can, and that can drop you back into your shoulder more. Exhale, one. Breathing in. Exhale, two. In. Exhale, three. And then we'll walk our hands back through midline and over to the right hand side. Take a breath in. Right hand can pitch back slightly and then exhale. One. Inhale. Grip the toes. Exhale. Heart melts over the knee. Two. One more. Inhale. And then opening the left side body and shoulder. Exhale. Back through center, breathe in. Melt the heart, the forehead, exhale here. And then inhale, peel the heart forward. Let the hips sink through for upward dog. Then drop the knees and exhale, scoop the chin and stretch back into child's. And again, inhale, round through the spine, strong arms, heart comes through, inner thighs engage and lift, upward dog. And one more exhale, scoop it back, just warming up the wrists and spine. And then inhale all the way through for upward dog, lift your inner thighs, engage your ankles. Downward facing dog, exhale, scoop it back. Anchor through the heels now. Take a breath in, come to the tippy toes, lift through your forearms. And then exhale, ground the ankles back down. Again, inhale, come to the tippy toes, lift through the forearms. And then exhale, ground the heels back down. One more like this. Inhale. Inner palms strong. Exhale. Walk the hands backwards to the toes. Take a breath in. Bend the knees and exhale, catch elbow creases, hang over the legs. Start to draw your upper arms forward now. And pull the shoulder blades away from the jaw. And then push into the outside edge of the elbows. One, a little knee bend to sandwich the belly against the thighs. Two, three. Take a half lift, inhale, peace fingers around the big toes, Padded the stasana, thumb meets the middle finger. And then exhale, elbows wide, draw yourself in. One, the shoulders lift from the jaw. And then rather than tucking your chin in and collapsing your neck, pull the sternum through and reach the crown down. Three. Four, inner thigh pulls back, hollow out the pelvic bowl. Five, half lift, inhale, straighten the arms, pull the upper arm bone back. Exhale, walk forward to plank. Stay strong in the upper body. Inhale, hover your knees above the earth. And then exhale, bend the elbows, take it back to Chaturanga. Then back up to plank. Inhale, bend the knees, hover above the earth. And then exhale, Chaturanga. And again, inhale, plank, tap the knees. And exhale, Chaturanga, all the way to the floor. Inhale, cobra, lift your chest, coil the heart open. Exhale, buttocks to heels, push back, downward facing dog. Left leg grounds, right leg lifts, inhale. Bend the right knee and open out the right hip, exhale. Lengthen the right leg, breathe in. 
right knee to right elbow, option for a tricep dip, yogi's choice. Back up, inhale. Take the right knee to the left elbow, exhale, squeeze and lift. We're kicking to the left side now, inhale, reach out through the right leg, turn the left foot down, and then exhale, left arm reaches overhead, fall and triangle. Inhale, lower your buttocks to the floor, take the left hand down on the inside of the leg, knees are at right angles, and then exhale, right arm overhead. Use the inside of the leg to pivot the chest up, option to drop down deeper. One, heart turns up, and you can use the back of the elbow against the earth if you've got that range. Two. Three. Back up, inhale, plant your right hand down. Lift the hips, exhale, arch back. Left hand comes down, pivot the back toe, and inhale, hug knee to nose. Exhale, release the right knee to pigeon. Lift the chest, breathe in. Exhale, fold forward. Keep up onto the tippy fingers and ground your back toe. Inhale, lift all the way back up. Pull the front of the hip bones up to lift out of the lower back. Exhale, fold for two. Inhale, chin to chest, spinal roll your way up. Exhale, three. Inhale, lift all the way up. Tuck the back toe, plant the hands. And then exhale, bring left knee to nose. Right leg back to three-legged dog, breathe in. And then come high into the tippy toe, step through. Heel, toe placement if you can. Pull the lower belly off the thigh, then lift the arm, high lunge. Exhale, arrowhead pose, hands back in space, heart hovers above the right knee. Then the left knee lowers down, inhale, zip up the front body as you lift your arm. And then lean forward and lift the back knee. Exhale, arrowhead pose. Stay high out of the knee, high lunge. Inhale, arms come up. Arrowhead again. Exhale, hands back in space. Squeeze the palms across the buttocks. Lower the back knee as you scoop the belly, lift the arms back up, low lunge. And then exhale back to arrowhead. Hands reach back. Pause here, float the left leg off the floor. And then arch the torso up like a back bend. One, so it's different to warrior three. We're squeezing the palms back and lifting the left leg. Two, broadening the collarbone, the chest, strengthen your spine. Three, then bring the left knee into the chest, inhale. Hands to heart, take the left ankle across the right leg and then squat down into a standing pigeon position. One, sink the buttocks back. Two, keep your focus. Three, inhale, lift up with the left knee. Arrowhead pose, take it back, ground the foot at the back of the mat and stretch the fingers back. Inhale, lift the arm. Open warrior two, exhale. Reach back with the right wrist, breathe in. Side angle pose, right hand down, left arm over. Left hand meets the earth, peel up your back foot. Right arm to the sky, exhale, take a twist. Inhale, come onto the knife edge of your foot, step your right foot back for side plank, Vashasvasana. Hold here, look up. One, lengthen the side body evenly. Two, Three, let's plant the right hand down, breathe in. Chaturanga, exhale, keep pushing back through your heel and lengthen your sternum. Up dog, inhale, open your chest. Down the facing dog, exhale, sink the heels. Coming to the other side, left leg high, breathe in, ground your right heel. Exhale, foot to buttocks, peel the hip open. Take the left leg back long, breathe in. And then left knee to left tricep, exhale, option for the tricep dips. You don't have to, you can just hold your plank. Left leg high, inhale. Left knee, right elbow, exhale, pause. We're quick kicking out to the right hand side here. 
ground the back foot down and then fan the right arm over. Lower down, breathe in, plant the right hand down on the inside of the leg, turn the chest and exhale left arm overhead. One, legs are at 90 degrees. Two, anchor down to the back of your right arm as you pivot the chest up. Three, then inhale, lift up, plant the left hand back to the front of the mat, directly under the shoulder, exhale, arch up. Ground the right hand, pivot the back heel up and bring left knee to nose, inhale. Exhale, set the left leg down into pigeon, left knee behind, left wrist. Point the back toe, inhale, lift the sternum, and then exhale, fold forward. And then from here, keep pivoting back through the hips. Inhale, rise again. And exhale, fold for two. And again, inhale, lift the front of hip bones, drive the legs down, lift the chest. Exhale, three. Chin to chest, come back up. As you earth the legs, this will give you buoyancy in the upper body. And then tuck the toe, plant the hands, and exhale, bring left knee to nose, hovering plank. Left leg stretches back, inhale, three-legged dog. Slowly step back between the hands, heel, toe placement. Pull the lower belly in, and then inhale, lift up for high lunge. Exhale, hover over your left knee for arrow head pose. Fingers can push back and squeeze the palms. Then the back knee lowers as you lift the arms up, breathe in. And then hover over the left knee and exhale, lift the back knee up. Fingers sweep back. High lunge, inhale, peel it up. Open the frontal hip bones. And then exhale, arrow head pose. Heart hovers, firm your left heel, squeeze your palms. Lower the back knee to the floor, lift the arms up and pull up through your front body. And then exhale, arrowhead pose, lift the back knee off the earth. From here, start to float the right leg into the sky and then squeeze everything up, pulling the palms back. One, wrap the right hip down and lift the inner right leg. Two, contract your back body and open the front. Three, then soften the left knee as you bring right knee to chest, pull it up. The right ankle sits over the left knee and then deepen down into your seat as you sit back into your hips. Hands can come to the heart, press the right leg into the left leg as you drop your buttocks. One, standing pigeon, two, broaden the sit bones back. Three, bring the right knee to the chest, inhale, pull it up into the heart. Left knee softens, the heart stays forward so that you can step back into arrowhead pose. Exhale, ground the back toe. Inhale, lift up high lunge, peel the front of the hip bones open. Open arms and hips, warrior two, get longer in that stance. Reverse the warrior, inhale, reach it up and back, open your left side body, deepen your knee bend. Left hand down for side angle, take it to the little toe edge, right arm over. Right hand back to the mat, frame the foot and then peel your back heel up. Ground right hand, exhale, twist, open your chest. Firm your right arm so you're lifting out of the shoulder joint and inhale, come onto the knife edge of your right leg and step back to side plank. Vashasasana, then look up. One, blue your inner thigh and then lengthen through your sternum. Two, think Tadasana in the legs, so like mountain pose. Three, then inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Up dog, inhale. Chin to chest, down the facing dog. Inhale. Jump your feet around your hands. If you can, create a little bunny hop and lower your legs slowly.
squat down into garland pose malasana push the elbow tips out if you need to prop yourself up take some blocks or cushions underneath your bum and then wedge your elbows into your knees and squeeze your palms firm pull your ribs through your inner thighs one pull the creases of your hips down so that your ribs can leverage up two Three. And we're going to rock back to slowly reach the buttocks down, take your peace fingers around your toes, and then lift the legs all the way up. Breathe in. One, look up, press the legs wide. Two, then wrap your arms upward and plug the shoulder blades down. Three, bring the toes together, inhale, push the toes away, lift the chest. One, Udaya Padagustasana. Two, push the inner thigh towards the front of your mat. Three, no hands, breathe in. And then come to soles of the feet together and then we use wide and peel the arches of the feet apart. Well done. Set your breath in, lift the chest. Making me sweat today, guys. <laughs> Exhale, fold forward. Pull the elbow tips back and push the heart beyond the toes. One. Keep the breath slow, smooth, and steady. Two. Chin forward, but without the neck collapsing. Three. Encourage the front body to move longer rather than compress the front body into the toes. Four. Five. Inhale, lift up, and then exhale, lengthen the legs all the way out. Take a breath and catch your feet. Use a strap if you need. If your back's tight and your hips are tight, just bend your knees so that you can lift your ribcage forward and work from there. And breathe slow and steady. Shoulders back again, elbows wide. inner thigh grounds down and then pull the breath up through the inner thigh to the belly and then out through the crown. And then inhale, lengthen. Slowly exhale, roll down to the earth. Bring the right knee into the chest. Inhale, give them a squeeze. Chin in, back of the neck long. And the right arm will go wide and the knee will come across to the left, scooting the left hip backwards in line with the heart. Gaze out to the right side. One, and then stretch your limbs in all directions. Two, try to free out the back of the left shoulder blade so that the back of the heart is open. Then inhale, bring the right knee to the chest. And exhale, release the leg. Bring left knee in, inhale. Take the knee across the body, scoop the right hip back, and exhale, look out to the left. Then bring out your body. One, stretch in all directions. Two, one more breath. Three. Bring the left knee back to center, steady out the back of the pelvis, and then exhale, release your leg and take a few moments in Shavasana.